Hey guys, welcome to my channel Zigmodo. This is a 1993 Honda Shadow BT600C. Uh, has almost 40,000 miles on it. I got it recently at the auction. Um, does not start, does not even crank, so there's nothing gonna be a lot of work into uh, getting it to working condition. Also, the idea behind is to uh, transform it to um, bulber. Uh, so I'm gonna create for you guys a lot of videos in order to show you the entire process step by step of the build. Uh, if you're interested to follow this entire process, feel free to click down below the subscribe button. Uh, in the meantime, let's get started. So on the auction website, uh, it was mentioning that this bike was stationary. So basically that you would just, you know, turn it on. And uh, they didn't even show a picture of the fact that the battery was turning on. You know, and the fact that uh, when you press start, nothing happens. Um, so the was a little bit of a gamble to get a bike that is not starting because um, you know you never know what's what's going on with it. Uh, right. So what I did is actually check every um, every fuse on there. None of them are um, blown, so it's a good good thing. Uh, I mean, I wish the ignition was, so it would have been maybe uh, the reason why it's not starting. You want to check basically step by step um, everything that is now working. So in this case, uh, I started with, uh, I want to start with the battery. The fuse box is a good thing to check also, because uh, especially on cars, sometimes uh, the auction will actually um, basically uh, remove one of the fuse. Um, on the on a motorcycle, it's, I, I'm not, not aware that they do that but it's possible so um, you might want to do that and check this so this is the fuse box I have access to the battery now so I'm gonna di disconnect everything and uh, remove the battery and uh, go from there I'm gonna get that battery uh, to the auto shop and uh, uh, we're gonna check the alpha battery for free and uh, let me know what's going on if it's enough uh, for starting the bike uh, and uh, go from there so battery um, the else is good, so we're, we're gonna check that. Um, I'm gonna insert the battery and then uh, give it a, a try, see how, see, see how it goes. Well, let's uh, start turn on the bike, see if anything happens. I don't think anything will happen, but hey, we'll, we'll give it a shot. Nope, nothing. Still, uh, still the same. All right, guys, I actually uh, started removing. Uh, the seat um, wanted to check the 30 amp and doesn't seem to be the issue so I actually noticed that some people were saying that could be the starter button and uh, I mean man this is extremely filthy so I wouldn't be surprised it could be the issue uh, as you can see it's it's extremely dirty um, even the air was, ex was super dirty I started cleaning it um, but yeah it's some, uh, some work to do so I'm gonna clean this and uh, we'll see what it does and I cleaned them as much as I could uh, temporarily uh, just trying to see if it could be the issue since a lot of different owners of shadow had this issue coming up especially on the starter sometimes on the uh, off and on um, I clean them nothing is happening I even checked them the voltage on all of the things they all work so like the cable works there's no issue on that uh, so it's not this on my kit in my case all right so this is actually day two um, yesterday I discovered a few things including uh, the filter here which I wanted to check make sure it's not plugged or anything so I took it apart and I just below this rubber there is gonna be an arrow that's gonna give you the sense of direction of the uh, gas so in this case it's going to go this direction so towards the pump and uh, this actually um, was incorrect uh, so the filter was inverted so I actually uh, unplugged it and put it the correct way which is what you see right now uh, so always make sure it's in the right direction with the arrow uh, giving you the sense of the flow I did test the fuel pump relay which sits right here um, I tested the pump, uh, everything seems to be working. Not fully sure that the fuel relay and the pump works together right now because at the end of the day, when I turn it on, um, the fuel pump's not working. Well, if I bypass the fuel relay, it will be working. 
It's normal in most cases, but I would expect the fuel pump to work when I start the, the bike. But uh, I'm not 100% sure on this specific bike. However, what I did is I actually um, I actually remove uh, two spark plugs, the ones that are the easiest, because uh, the other ones are way deep in there and they're like all the way down. Um, I don't have the the socket that will enter. I do have a 18. It's an 18 millimeter socket, uh, so I do have um, the socket, but it's too large. So I actually I ordered the. Um, the Honda OEM parts to remove the, sp the spark plugs. I think it's gonna make my life easier. Well, I checked the spark plugs. Spark plugs are, I only checked two since I can't access the other two yet, but these two already gave me a good idea of the condition and uh, it's not that good. Uh, they are very, very dirty. I did clean as much as I could, but I'm still getting bad readings um, on my multimeter. Uh, so I ordered, uh, uh, new ones, but I didn't order this exact one. I ordered actually the ones that are in iridium uh, and uh, that are more like performance um, pl uh, spark plugs, so they last longer. I think it's around 40,000 miles or something. Uh, don't don't quote me on that. Uh, but basically, so I will get re this replaced, especially if they're in bad condition. Um, I'm still looking uh, further in terms of what could be the issue of not uh, starting. Um, I'm just going step by step. Uh, the, the, the fuel seems to be good going to the carbs. Uh, the, car the, the sparks is definitely an issue. So if I'm able to fix that, maybe the bike will actually start cranking. Uh, if it cranks, then uh, we're getting there. If it starts, even better. Um, the... Uh, other issue is I still need to uh, empty that tank, make sure everything is all good um, and uh, no rust. So I'm gonna empty the tank, check the petcock. Um, I'll do that uh, as soon as I can. And um, I'm gonna keep looking on the electrical because I've noticed way too many issues on little things. Even the fuel line, I mean, uh, the filter being reversed tells me that uh, the person who, who put back some stuff is not didn't know what they were doing so I'm not saying I know better because I'm not a mechanic but um, uh, I want to make sure everything is okay and uh, go from there so um, not sure yet um, what I'm going to do exactly next I would prefer trying the, the uh, sparks I, sh might, I should receive it the next day or so um, so that will basically enable me but I still need that tool and that tool uh, for removing the sparks uh, I'm not sure when I'm gonna receive it so it might block me for a while if it does I might just uh, start taking a bunch of stuff apart all right guys uh, this is gonna be a wrap for the first video um, as you can see there's a lot of issues to deal with this is something I expected and you should expect if you are doing a project bike uh, as we don't know the history it could have been sitting uh, for a long time which I believe is the case for this bike and uh, so you want to go step by step without rushing this is important you do not want to rush uh, in case of uh, making it worse for the bike uh, the main thing for me is gonna be the tank I want to make sure this is clean and the gas is good uh, which I don't expect but uh, we're gonna check that uh, in order to ensure that the gas going inside the engine is clean uh, also one thing that I want to check is actually the electrical part of the of the bike um, you've seen me check the battery the fuse the, the buttons things like that even the, the fuel pump and the, the relay of the pump um, however um, none of those things that seems to be the issue um, but there is one thing that I noticed that uh, kind of threw me off a little bit is uh, the, the, the starter relay normally makes a click when you press the starter and release uh, but it's not the case so I'm wondering if it could be just that piece that uh, is not working so we'll check that and then uh, we'll, we'll see in the next video uh, uh, if we can at least get it to crank uh, and go from there all right so if you have any questions any comments uh, feel free to leave them down below if you also want to stay tuned for the next uh, video and videos after that uh, please subscribe down below as well and uh, I'll catch you on the second part